Yo, what's going on guys, this is Brent again, and in this tutorial we're going to be using Bootstrap AngularJS directives to add a carousel to our front page. To do that we're going to be using UI Bootstrap, which are components written in AngularJS that mimic the Bootstrap effect. So let's go ahead and download it with Bower. Uh, we'll use Angular Bootstrap with the version being 013.0. Save that and then uh, bootstrap, no, sorry, bower installer and let that install. Now let's include it in our index.ejs page. Uh, so script and it's going to be in our libs angular bootstrap dot t or no, angular bootstraps tpls.js and save that. Now to use it in our app, we need to set it as a dependency. <clears throat> and so we'll copy this and we'll go here and we'll save that. So actually I got the path wrong in libs. Uh, so it's actually angular bootstrap folder and then the UI bootstrap tpls.js file. So save that. So let's go ahead and get our images in here. So we're gonna create a new folder in our client and call it IMG. Um, and then I'm going to bring in three images that I have. One, two, three, and drag them into my image folder. So now let's go to our home controller where we're actually gonna put our carousel. Let's create a new scope object, scope.slides, and that's gonna be equal to an array. And the array is gonna be an array of objects with uh, properties, one property called image. And here we're going to put in the link to our image. So it's going to be image slash angular is going to be one dot png. And then let's just copy this right here. And one more. So we got three images here angular dot png, node dot png, and full stack dot png, and save that. Okay, so let's take a look at the markup. If we go to the Angular uh, UI uh, page and scroll down to the carousel uh, objects, we can see the markup for carousel right here. Let's go ahead and copy that for a little bit later. Now, if we go to our home.html partial page, let's go ahead and create a div with a row here. And then inside here, we're gonna create another div. It is going to be column md um, six columns wide and it's going to have an offset of three so column md offset three Oops, offset three no damn it there we go okay now inside here we can go ahead and paste our carousel save that and let's refresh our page here and wow look at this we have a little carousel object Okay, so I can see here that something's broken. So let's go ahead and pop this out and F12 to see what's going on. And it looks like it's not finding our fonts. Uh, that is because our fonts are not where Angular Bootstrap expects them to be. So let's look at our library here. And in Bootstrap, our fonts, our glyph icons are in that folder. So let's go ahead and cut these and see where it's actually, it's libs fonts. Um, so let's go back to our library, create a new folder called fonts, and we'll paste our fonts in here. And let's refresh this and see if that fixes it. And it looks like it did, a hey, bonus. Uh, so let's just pop it out really quick, double check. That looks good. So I want to change a few things just uh, for my own personal preference. I'm going to get rid of this carousel caption here because I'm not going to be using that. Also, uh, originally it was a little bit small. So I changed the column size to eight and the offset to two. It centers it to two uh, blank columns on the uh, ends there. Um, that made it a little bit better. And also I'm going to right here, I'm going to wrap our image in an A tag. Um, Mail instead of mail two, it's going to be slide dot link, and we'll just put the oops, gosh, I I can't type today really. 
So we'll put the image inside of this. So it can actually link to my YouTube playlist uh, anytime anybody clicks on uh, the carousel image. So in the home controller, we need to add a link here. Um, so this one will be link, and it's the Angular link. So I got the link here. Let me copy and paste it. Oops. And then the link for node will be this one. And the link for the full stack will be this one. And we'll save that and refresh the page here, pop it out, and see if we go to where we're supposed to be going. We did it. So really quickly, one thing I forgot to add was scope dot my interval, uh, and we'll set that to 4,000, save that, refresh the page, and what this is gonna do is this going to change the image approximately every four seconds, 4,000 milliseconds, um, and there you go, you can see it change. So that's it for this tutorial. I uh, hope you guys liked it. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and post them below. If you liked the video, hit that subscribe and like button, and I'll catch you guys next time.